Hello, in this video, I'll provide an overview of the new Amazon Inspector along with a brief demo in the AWS console. Amazon Inspector is an automated vulnerability management service that continually scans workloads for software vulnerabilities and unintended network exposure. The new Amazon Inspector has expanded its coverage to support container images residing in Amazon Elastic Container Registry in addition to Amazon EC2 instances. The new Amazon Inspector features a simplified one-click enablement, continuous and automated scanning, multi-account support with AWS organizations, and uses widely adopted Systems Manager agent in place of the standalone Inspector Classic agent. Once enabled, Amazon Inspector discovers workloads automatically and provides you with real-time environment coverage details and a view of consolidated findings across accounts and resources. You will receive near real-time finding notifications. Findings are prioritized and you'll see a contextualized inspector risk score. From there, you can start your analysis and kick off automated triage. Amazon Inspector provides management APIs for comprehensive programmatic access to your Amazon Inspector account and resources. You also have access to detailed findings in Amazon EventBridge and through AWS Security Hub integration. At this point, I'm going to jump into the AWS console. For the demo, I've set up a few AWS accounts. They are all part of an AWS organization. These accounts represent my organization management account, a security account, and some accounts that would segregate workloads and environments. One of the first things you'll notice is that the new Amazon Inspector features a simplified one-click enablement. It also arrives with multi-account support with AWS organizations. That means we can simply assign a delegated admin, in this case, our security account, and manage the use of Inspector from there. To get started, I will log into my organization management account. Here we are in the AWS console. I have logged into my organization management account. I'm starting here in order to set my security account as the delegated administrator of Inspector for my organization. Once I've set this up, we'll pivot to that security account for the rest of the demo. By entering the account number for my security account here, I'm granting roles required to manage Inspector for my organization. This will also enable Inspector in my new delegated admin account. Before I log out, I'll also enable Inspector in this account. As you can see, it's very simple to get started, literally just a couple clicks. You may have to wait a minute before it redirects you to the new Inspector dashboard. And there it goes. At this point, I'm going to log out and log into my security account that we just assigned to be the delegated administrator. Here we are in my security account. Since we made this account the delegated admin for Amazon Inspector, you'll notice that the service is already enabled when we logged in. Since we are still getting set up, I'm going to jump to Settings Account Management. Because we are in the delegated admin, we can enable and disable Inspector in all the other accounts that are part of this AWS organization. We can also automatically enable Inspector for all new member accounts. I'm going to do both. I'll enable all scanning for all my accounts, and I will toggle on the option to automatically enable all scanning in all new accounts. When you enable Amazon Inspector, it automatically discovers all of your Amazon EC2 and Amazon ECR resources. Amazon Inspector scans those resources, 
to detect vulnerabilities that pose risks to the security of your compute workloads. After the initial scan, Amazon Inspector continues to monitor your environment. It automatically scans new resources and rescans existing resources when changes are detected. As vulnerabilities are remediated or resources are removed from service, Amazon Inspector automatically updates the associated security findings. In order to successfully scan EC2 instances, Amazon Inspector requires inventory collected by AWS Systems Manager and the SSM agent. This is installed by default on many EC2 instances. You may find some instances aren't being scanned by Inspector because they are not yet managed by SSM. Here's one example. Okay, we're all set up. Let's go back to the dashboard. Still keeping in mind that we are in the delegated admin, what we are looking at is a reflection of all the accounts we have enabled Inspector in. We can see our coverage, the number of different types of findings and critical findings, common findings, and accounts and other resources with the most critical findings. I would let your focus settle on risk-based remediations first. Using the contextualized Inspector Risk Score, these are the five packages containing the most critical vulnerabilities affecting the most resources. I'll dive deep into how the Inspector Risk Score is calculated in a couple minutes. From the Findings page, we can look at all of the findings in Inspector. By default, these are sorted by severity but we could sort and filter based on other fields. For example, if you wanted to, you could filter on a resource tag. Alternatively, you could also filter on a resource ID. In Amazon Inspector, a finding is a detailed report about a potential vulnerability that affects one of your resources. Amazon Inspector generates a finding whenever it detects a potential vulnerability for an Amazon EC2 instance or a potentially vulnerable container image within an Amazon ECR repository. To see the finding report, click on the title of a finding. Each finding provides a description, severity rating, information about the affected resource, and additional details such as resource tags and how to remediate the reported vulnerability. Amazon Inspector stores your active findings until they are closed through remediation. Amazon Inspector displays closed findings for 30 days. Inspector calculates a highly contextualized Inspector Risk Score for each finding by correlating Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures, or CVE, information with findings such as Network Access and Exploitability. This score can be used to prioritize the most critical vulnerabilities to improve remediation response efficiency. This score is also used to derive the severity of a finding. In addition to the Inspector Score, Inspector also displays the score provided by the vendor, such as Red Hat, as well as the score provided by the National Vulnerability Database, commonly known as NVD. Inspector displays both CVSS3 and CVSS2 scores from both the vendor and NVD wherever possible. Here you can see that Inspector's score has been adjusted because there is no path from the internet to this instance. If the same CVE was identified on an instance with network access from the internet, the score wouldn't have been adjusted. We can also click on By Vulnerability to see vulnerabilities listed by the number of critical findings. Again, 
we can filter and change how this list is sorted. Clicking to by account, we can see the coverage and finding counts per account. Clicking to by instance, we can see a list of instances sorted by the number of critical findings. Under by container image, we similarly see container images listed. From this screen, if you want to see the findings within a container image, you can click on the image. Here you see the list of findings for the overall container sorted by severity, or you can see the list of findings broken down by layer. Finally, you can see a list of repositories where you can click into a repo to see the list of affected container images. If you haven't enabled ECR container scanning, you won't see this. Lastly, we have suppression rules. Suppression rules give you the ability to hide Amazon Inspector findings that match specified criteria. For example, you can use suppression rules to hide low-value findings or vulnerabilities that you do not intend to remediate. Doing so can help you more easily recognize the vulnerabilities with the most impact to your environment. You can suppress findings based on severity, score, tags, and numerous other filters. My last shout out is that you have access to events generated by Inspector in Amazon EventBridge, and you can aggregate Inspector findings in AWS Security Hub. That's all for this demo. I hope you found this a valuable use of time. Visit the Amazon Inspector page for more information. Thank you for watching.